the Lakeshore, and welcome back to a week in review where we talk about some stories you might have missed this week. School districts in Manitowoc County are splitting just shy of $524,000 given out by the state. The funds from the Common School Fund distribution will all go towards library improvements. The Manitowoc Public School District is getting over $262,000. Two Rivers gets over $62,000. Heal just shy of that number. The elders slotted to get over $43,000. Bishacott, Reedsville, and Brilliant each getting around $37,000. The historic Rar Villas Mansion should have elevator service by the middle of the year. Current plans are to have the elevator on the south side of the mansion completed by the end of June to allow visitors much easier access to the entire building. Rar West Art Museum director Greg Vadney said it will also trigger some renovation work in the next few years to open up new parts of that museum. He stated the third floor of the museum, which is currently not open to the public, will be rehabbed and then open for public viewing in the coming years. Just over a week after their porta potty race fundraiser, Lakeshore foster families and friends received another major boost to their funds. The local organization that helps foster children received a $10,000 donation from the group 100 Women Who Care Manitowoc County. The check was presented at their meeting Tuesday at the Sepia Chapel in Two Rivers. And in your sports, the two Pee Wee level teams in the Manitowoc County Youth Hockey Association are playing in their state tournaments this weekend. The Breakers' Pee C team will be in Rhinelander. The B team travels to Altoona. They hope, both hope to build on the success of their fellow Breakers teams that they had this past weekend. The Squirt Bs came in second, the Cs were in fourth, and the Bantam team competed in the Constellation Championship game. You can always find more local news online anytime at chafernews.com. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.